Hello and welcome to this video and in this video I'll be explaining to you what in Paris is and how you can use it. All right. So, one thing you need for in Paris is table, all right? And that's it. You don't need more for in Paris. So, how do we actually use it? You type in for IV is the usual default thing, but you don't actually have to type it out. I stands for index, V stands for value. Index is the number of each value in the table, and value is just a value. I, 7, false, and test. Index is in this case 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we do in pairs. Now the bracket comes. We have to put the table in the bracket, and then do then just enter and something important is that you can actually put anything in here all right i would recommend just putting i v in here or which is also commonly spread is underscore i like using iv though all right so if we were to now print v it'll print hi seven false and test if we were to print the i, the index, it will print 1, 2, 3, 4. Each value has its own index, which is basically just a place in the whole table. The value is place. Alright. Now, there is also i pairs. So, we put for IV in I person here. It's basically the same. At least it looks like that. But the important behavior change in both of those is that I purse breaks once one of these values is nil. For example, if I have it like this, it will go high, seven, and then nil comes, bam, it just stops. The loop breaks, it stops working, alright? Then, I pairs is also important if you want to guarantee order in your table in the loop using it. So that was it for this video. If you liked it, I'd be happy if you subscribe and like this video. And see you.